Hello guys, Haruna here. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how I was able to fix the little issue I had with uh, VMware Workstation 11 after upgrading from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Before the upgrade, I had this client operating systems that I had uh, this uh, guest operating systems installed on the workstation, the VMware workstation had Windows XP, which I still have, and the others you can see here, CentOS, the Linux Community Enterprise Operating System, this is the minimal install, and uh, Ubuntu Linux 2, this also uh, CentOS, same operating system as this, but the only difference is I installed this with the GUI option. Fedora also one of the operating systems I have running. So, but before the upgrade from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10, my clients operating system, that's the guest operating systems, were able to connect to the internet perfectly. That's using the host internet connection, basically by sharing my internet connection with the VMware guest operating systems. And after the upgrade, I was having issues with NAT. So the issues I was having was if, for instance, on the CentOS router, if you go to VM settings, let's wait, it's loading. Okay, if you go to settings, you can see that I have two network adapters. One is, I've set one to be on NAT, and one is on a LAN segment. That the LAN is connecting the other operating systems together. But the interface that's on NAT is supposed to let me connect to the internet normally. That you can see the option here is uh, the NAT is used to share the host IP address. So that's how it should work normally. And after having that settings on my CentOS router, we can just check, run a quick check. I have config just to see the interfaces we have and the addresses we have. Let me clear the screen and run that again. I have config. Okay, you can see I have two interfaces. Yeah, no, 0167736. That's the naming convention on Center 7 anyway. It's kind of long, but um, still trying to get used to it. So you can see the two interfaces I have. The first one, this interface has been set to NAT, and it's getting IP address from my physical machine that's from the host operating system. That's Windows 10 in this case. So, but before this, before fixing the issue, I was unable to get the IP address assigned automatically using DHCP. So what I did is just pretty straightforward, actually. You only need to go to your VMware workstation, that's just the homepage, you go to edit, then you go to virtual network editor. So it's initializing virtual networks. You just need to take it to the settings, you take the settings to the default settings that you had working for you in the previous uh, version of the operating system. So you can see the virtual network editor here. What we have here, we have uh, VM net one has been set to host only, VM net eight has been set to NAT. They are all connected and enabled. So these are subnet addresses. And they, are, they issue out addresses that DHCP addresses to hosts that are connected to them. You can see restore defaults here is grayed out. So if you want to do that, you go to change settings. It's going to ask you for admin, right? Just click OK and 
it's loading let's just wait for a little while it's, it's loading okay it's kind of taking some time let's see oh okay uh, i actually forgot something you need to stop your machines that's your guest operating systems from running you can see i have windows xp running centos and the other operating system running I basically I think that's the issue so I'm going to pause the video and uh, shut down all my machines and we'll continue from that yeah now I've shut down all the guest operating systems my Ubuntu XP everything now shut down but actually you don't really have to because I was looking right on the home page that's the the home page of the vmware workstation that's why we were unable to see the settings page that's the virtual network editor it's actually it actually opened on a separate window so what we have here are the interfaces that the vmware workstation will have available we have the vmnet zero a bridged network type uh, vmnet one host only if you scroll if you come down here you see restore defaults so restore defaults basically after my upgrade from windows 8.1 to windows 10 i had issue like i mentioned earlier i have some issues with uh, i have issues with connecting to the internet from my guest operating systems. So VMNet 8 is already set to NAT. And you can see the subnet IP and the subnet mask. So it, it means it's, it's going to allocate IP addresses automatically to guest operating systems. So all you need to do is restore defaults. I'm not going to click on restore defaults right now because I just did that on my machine for it to work. So I'm just showing you what you need to do. If you restore defaults, it's going to clear the cache, bring down the network settings, bring it back up, and uh, you'll be good to go. So when you're done restoring defaults, just uh, click OK to close this this page back on your vmware workstation the other settings that you may or may not know of is uh, your adapter settings on the host operating system if i go to change adapter let's just go over it quickly if i go to change adapter the connections i have i have ethernet i am connected to the internet using the sky broadband sky uk broadband connectivity and the cable is connected to my ethernet port you can see here it's showing shared so all i did was uh, shared the connection let's just go to, you just go to properties uh, shared sharing so you can see i have checked you checked the boxes to allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and allow other network users to control or disable you need to select the interface you can say i've chosen vmware network adapter vm vmnet 8 and vmnet 8 if you remember from the settings on the vmware software it's been set to work as a nat so if i am sharing my physical host internet connection with vmnet 8 it's just gonna give ip addresses to hosts that are connected using nat so you click ok you shared it with vmnet 8 vmnet 8 is enabled from here so you can see that that's that and 
I think that's basically it. So all you need to do is restore your defaults and make sure you are sharing the internet connection of the physical machine with the VMNet interface that you've chosen to set as NAT. So if you have any comment, questions, any issue you may have with doing this, please drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you find it useful in any way. Bye.